Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a stitch fix, unboxing, and try on. If you like these videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get on with the video. So what Stitch Fix is, it is a subscription service. You pay a $20 fee, you get five items sent to you. If you like anything, you get that $20 deducted. If you wanna buy your whole box, you get 25% off. And if you don't like anything, you put everything back in their envelope. You send it back, you don't have to pay any shipping or any other fees. I do have a referral link down below. You get between $25 and $100 credit. And what I like about them is you can use that for anything. You can use it for um, one item. You can use it for children's stitch fix. You can use it for men. You can um, just buy one item. You can do your boxes with it. So if you do the $100, you get to try it five times. And let's just say your second time you like everything, you'll get that $80 deducted off that box. So it really does work out if you buy your whole box, I think, because you get that 25% off. And some of the stuff is like boutique items. My last box, I got free people. So you do get other brands and they do have their brands too. And another thing I like about them is the stuff that I got in my last box, I did buy my whole box last time, I have been wearing and going for those pieces more than anything else in my closet. So it is things, if you like what you're getting, you are gonna be wearing them. They're just really good quality. They're really comfortable, really you know, trendy. So I'm really, really happy with the service so far. So this is my seventh um, box. And I'll stop rambling now and just open it. Okay, so I am so bad at holding my bundle. I don't know why. <laughs> this is my bundle. So some gray blacks. Looks like jeans. A little leopard in there. And then you get your return label that I told you, it's really a big bag. You just throw everything in there and bring it to the post office. And then you get a styling card with all of the pieces that are in your box. Those are mine. And you get a little note from your stylist. So I'm not going to read that now, but it looks like... It was a pleasure styling another fix for you. So this is the same stylist I've had last time. She did a really good job. Her name's Molly. And um, this is the first time I actually had the same stylist two times in a row, I think. I'm pretty sure. So I'm really happy that I got her again because she really did a really good job last time. I bought my whole box. I think it's the first time I've done... No, I I bought my, my whole box before that too. So... But this one, I feel like I really have been going for the pieces that she put in that box. So I'm really excited about this one. And then you do get an itemized um, receipt with all of the pieces and how much it would cost and then how much it would be if you bought your whole box with that 25% off and then also your styling fee deducted. So this first item looks like it's a sheer material. It's by the brand Alice Blue and it's a size medium. So Alice Blue, this is the Devonia Mesh Kimono. And in the black size medium, it's $40. So this is a longer like duster. I do really like this. It looks like, I, I really don't think I've ever seen anything like this in stores. It does say it's a Stitch Fix exclusive. I like the colors. I usually wear a lot of black and I don't mind the beige flowers. So I'm really excited about this one. This next item looks like a tank top. It's from FP Movement, so another Free People tank top. I love Free People, if you're new. And this one is the Blissed Out Tank 
in the black. It's $30 in my usual size medium. I think she gave me this to go with that kimono. So that's really easy outfit right there. And I really like free people. Just like a good quality tank top. This next item is by Market and Spruce. It's a really cozy material. Hood. I love my hoodies and I like the stripes too. This is more of like a charcoal gray and white stripes. There is a seam down the back. Um, it has a v-neck. I like the ties on this. This is definitely my style. So this one is the Callan brushed knit hoodie in dark gray and this one is also $40. So this feels super soft, super cozy. I want to see what material this is. Okay, so it's mostly rayon, polyester, and spandex, which isn't bad. Machine wash, line dry. The next item, this caught my eye when I held up the bundle. This is from Pink Clover. It is a leopard like animal print top. Ooh, there's buttons on the back. I really like that. And there's some patches on the elbows. Really cute. So this one is the... Um, Cassidy Color Block Double Pocket. I don't know, I think that this that's what this is because there's only one item left. So this one is $48. But there's no pocket. I'm a little confused. Oh yeah, Abby button back knit top. So I really like that one. I think I might have a five for five here. Okay, and the last item looks like jeans. These are from Studio Blue. And they're the Kelly High Rise Crop Jean and in Indigo. Um, they did give me a size bigger. They gave me 29s and I'm a 28. But with the holidays and everything, you never know. They might fit. <laughs> so, these are just like a regular blue denim they're kind of like the jeans i have on right now like <laughs> these are from abercrombie but they're very similar colors so I, I think i really need to love these they do look like they're gonna be a little big but okay so i really like this box so far if i buy everything it is going to be 162 dollars which i don't think is bad i have a jean a pair of jeans two shirts a tank so th i mean three really good outfits that i know i'm gonna wear um yeah so i'm gonna have to try this on we'll see what works what doesn't and i'll let you guys know let me know in the comments what you like and what you don't okay so here is the abby button back top i love those patch detail on the elbow I like the buttons. I love the length on this. There is just enough coverage where you can wear it with leggings. It's really comfortable, soft. It's like the perfect weight of fabric. See, it's kind of a sweater, but it's not in between that t-shirt and sweater. So I could throw on a vest or a jacket, and then if it gets warm, I could take it off, but not feel like I'm bulky. That's something that you really don't want in Florida just because it does get warm sometimes at some point in the day. And if you're wearing something super bulky, you're kind of stuck in it. So I really like this. It's just really soft, really cozy, and definitely it works with my lifestyle. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Here is the Callan Brush Knit hoodie, and I really, really like this. It's so soft. It's really, really comfortable. It's made really nice. It's just another one of those perfect florida winter fabrics so this is something that you could wear like a tank top underneath a little sweatshirt or jacket over i love the length on this 
I like how it's not like super fetid where you usually have these nets that are just like squeezing you. Um, I just feel comfortable and it's just an easy throw on for when I'm running around stores filming videos for you guys or just bringing the kids to school or working. I work from home. So I really like this one too. This is definitely going to be hard decision to hear. Okay, here is the free people tank top. So I like the neck on this. I think it's really different. I don't have anything like this. It's really comfortable. It's ribbed. It's stretchy. I think it's something that I'll most likely have in the spring and the summer. And just an easy throw on. And then right now it's really good for layering. Sorry if it's a little bulky. I just didn't feel like changing my bra. That's the one thing that kind of stinks about it is you can't wear your regular bra with it with the racer back. So you have to either do like a strapless or a racer back bra, which is kind of annoying. I like things that kind of just work for what I'm wearing. But if you're wearing a sweater or kimono over, it really doesn't matter too much, I guess. So it's just a really nice, good material, high quality tank top. That's pretty much it. So I'm not going to really go into too much about that. So I do like it. Um, if I wasn't buying my whole box, I probably wouldn't keep it. But right now it's looking like I'm going to. Okay, here is the kimono with that tank. And I don't love it as much as I thought I would. I guess if I was like showing some skin like that, it looks okay. But would it close up? Kind of looks weird with the high neck. Um, I do like the, the tank and I like this. But I might try it on with something different just to see. Um, actually from forward, it's, this does look really cute. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Here are the jeans from... Studio Blow, the Kelly High Rise Crop Jean. I like them, but I think I need to exchange them. Um, I've never exchanged anything with them, so I don't know how it works if I have to pay like shipping or anything, which would kind of stink. Um, they're just bunchy in this area and under my butt, and I think that the, if you have that, they kind of make it look less than, if you know what I mean. I like more fitted, more of a cleaner look, and I think if it's bunchy in this area, it could make you look bigger, and then I could feel like under my butt like in this area it's kind of it has extra fabric where I think on me I just need a more cleaner fitted pant so I might exchange these I do like them I think they're really comfortable they're really stretchy I liked a crop jean I know some people don't like that look but I think it's cute with little booties for right now and then higher boots you don't even see their cropped and then in the summer with a sandal or a wedge so I do like them, but I think I'm going to need to exchange them, maybe even for color if they have a different color. Because on this paper they have, they have a ripped light blue, which I really wouldn't mind those. I don't think I have anything cropped like that. I Actually, I probably do, but I, I think I need a new pair because those were from Abercrombie and they were um worn a lot if you watch my older videos i've worn them for years so i could probably use like a light pair of ripped jeans actually i just bought a pair from walmart so yeah i don't know maybe they have other colors <laughs> so i really love this box i really want to keep everything the only thing i'm on the fence about are the jeans i have a couple pairs of jeans in that color i tend to go for that color when i'm in the store and i kind of turn an eye to the dark indigos and or like the dark denims the blacks I don't really have any of that i usually go for this mid-tone and white so i don't know i'm gonna say but let me know what you guys think down in the comments the 25 percent off it is like definitely appealing and i know i'll wear the jeans so i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one bye